Hi everyone, and welcome to another marvelous video. Blade is one of the underrated killers in the Marvel Universe, who has been a constant threat to all vampires. No matter how many times the vampires are resurrected, and no matter how strong they become, Blade will always have the means to put an end to their existence. His crusade against the vampire community has created numerous enemies who would take all chances to kill him, but at the end of all struggle, Blade always emerged victorious. In today's video, we will be discussing all Blade villains, so without any further delay, let us begin. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you. Let's begin. You're too late, Blade. Deacon Frost First on our list, we have Deacon Frost. The vampire, without whom Blade would never have been a damper, or human-vampire hybrid. Created by Marv Woolman and Gene Cullen, the character was introduced in Tomb of Dracula, issue 13, published in July 1973. Before becoming a vampire, Deacon was a scientist in search of immortality. His obsession reached its zenith when he obtained the blood of a deceased vampire and wanted to experiment with it on someone. Deacon kidnapped a lady named Ilsa and tried injecting the blood. Fortunately, her fiancé broke into the lab and foiled Deacon's plans. The scuffle resulted in Deacon injecting himself with the blood and becoming a vampire. However, owing to his unusual method of becoming a vampire, anyone he infected could generate a doppelganger and could control them mentally. Later, a man named Lucas Cross, a member of the secret society, the Order of Tirana, was taken prisoner, and he sent his pregnant wife to England. The wife, Vanessa Brooks, developed labor complications and needed immediate medical assistance, which was attended by none other than Deacon Frost. Deacon feasted on the lady as she gave birth to her son, and it resulted in a series of enzymes being passed on to the kid. The kid later grew up to be Eric Brooks, aka Blade. Blade and Deacon confronted each other on numerous occasions and were finally defeated with the combined efforts of Falcon, Misty Knight, and Blade. Jared Nomak Jared Nomak was one of the characters only showcased in the live-action film Blade 2, released on March 22, 2002. Jared was a Reaper, a genetically enhanced vampire capable of withstanding garlic and silver. The Reapers were created by Eli Damaskinos, the overlord of the Vampire Nation, when he tried to correct the flaws of the Vampire Genetic Code. Eli Damaskinos first tested on his son Jared Nomak thereby making him patient zero. Dubbed the Reaper strain, the virus transformed Jared Nomak into a super vampire, but with the inability to withstand sunlight. Jared fed off both vampires and humans, but preferred vampires more. He blamed his father for his transformation and set out to take revenge on him. He kept infecting other vampires and transformed them into Reapers as well. Eli Damaskinos, concerned with the rise of the Reapers, sought help from Blade to eradicate them. He handed over his elite pack of killers called the Blood Pack to assist Blade in his fight against the Reapers. Jared met his demise after Blade managed to stab his heart and kill him. Dracula. Next, we have the century-old vampire Dracula, aka Vlad Dracula, with numerous appearances in different storylines. He was born in 1430 AD in Shasberg, Transylvania, to Vlad Dracul, and was later declared the Prince of Wallachia by King Sigismund of Hungary. In 1444 AD, when Vlad, his father, and brother Radu were on the road to the Ottoman Empire to sign a peace treaty, they were ambushed by the ruler, Sultan Murad II. The sons were held captive, forcing the father to make decisions in favor of Turkey. Vlad Dracul's decision raised several conflicts within his empire, and he, along with his other son, Mircea, was killed by his advisors. In the Sultan's captivity, Radu died, but Vlad managed to escape and soon claimed the title of Voivod of Wallachia at the age of 18. However, it lasted for a year, after which he had to flee from his father's killers. Dracula eventually handed himself to the mercy of one of his father's advisors, John Hunyadi, as he was tired of running. Hunyadi took him under his guidance and taught him the art of war and becoming a ruler. Later, Vlad Dracula was compelled to marry Zofia, which was completely against his liking. When John Hunyadi died, he expelled his wife and daughter Lilith. He later married his love Maria, with whom he had a son, Vlad Tepulus. 
Dracula became the ruler, which came to an end when he was defeated in battle in 1459 against Turkey. Interestingly, there were stories associated with it, one of which was about his being defeated by Turkish warlord Turak, who chose to keep him alive in order to get control of Transylvania. The other story was that after he viciously defeated the entire Turkish army, and Sabanur, aka Apocalypse, and his Dark Riders arrived and mortally wounded him. He was later taken in by the Romani Leander for healing, who was actually a vampire. She infected him, thus making him a vampire as well. Dracula killed warlord Turak and began his havoc. Dracula died several times and made ways to make recurring appearances. At some point, in order to seek vengeance from Apocalypse, he infected his entire clan, Akaba, and killed many of them before Acopolyps decapitated him. However, he survived and was later shown facing Van Helsing to die once again. In the modern era, he was confronted by Blade after he infected his mentor, Jamal Afari. At some point, they even worked together to take down Dr. Sun. Morbius the character of Morbius is well known to us, especially after the release of 2022's live-action film of the same name. Michael Morbius was the son of Makarioba Morbius and a lady whose name has been revealed. Michael was born with a rare blood condition and was raised by a single mother after Makarioba left them. He grew up isolated from the rest and spent most of his time reading books. At some point, Michael experienced a brief moment of close friendship with Emil Nikos and his sister Elizabeth Nikos. Their company came to an end after he professed his feelings for Elizabeth and got rejected. In college, both Michael and Emil emerged as brilliant scientists and even won a Nobel Prize for their work in biochemistry. The two began finding a cure for his rare blood condition and tried experimenting with vampire bats and electroshocks. The end result was Michael turning into a vampire bat who needed human blood to survive. Morbius gained typical vampire strength and characteristics. He possessed the power of flight along with enhanced speed, strength and healing factor. The victims of his bite would also turn into vampires. Morbius ended up killing Emil and consuming his blood while his sister swore revenge against him after finding out. His encounter with Blade was shown in Steve Gerber's Fear Volume 1, issue number 24. While Blade was saving a woman from a vampire, a ship crash landed with the deceased Lord One, with signs of being killed by a vampire. Soon he saw Morbius leaping across a building and chased him. When the two confronted and fought, Morbius knocked Blade off the roof and escaped. Baroness Blood Created by John Cassidy and Ben Raab, Baroness Blood was introduced in Union Jack Issue 1, published in October 1998. Her real name was Lily Cromwell, and she was one of the daughters of a village doctor named Jacob Cromwell. At some point, a secret thrall of Dracula ordered Jacob to revive John Falsworth. John was a vampire and had worked for the Germans during both world wars as Baron Blood until he was stacked. His corpse was in the Tower of London and Jacob obliged in removing the stake and reviving Falsworth. When the vampire revived, he immediately feasted on Dr. Jacob and killed one of his daughters. Lily was infected and transformed into a vampire. Falsworth was killed again by Captain America and Union Jack, while Ms. Cromwell found a cult dedicated to Blood's memory as the Baroness. In order to prove her loyalty to Axis Mundi, she became immune to sunlight and led her cult to the sunlight to die. Baron Blood The man who became Baron Blood was known as Lord John Falsworth, the youngest son of Lord William Falsworth. The Falsworths were one of the richest members of the British aristocracy in the late Victorian and Edwardian times, all of which was passed on to John's elder brother, Montgomery, after the death of their father before World War I. Growing jealous of his brother, he went to Castle Dracula in Romania in hopes of being able to control Vlad Dracula and acquire immense wealth and power. However, Dracula used his hypnotic powers to trap him and soon turn him into a vampire. He then made John travel back to England where he would wreak havoc. During the World War, he offered his services to the German forces where he was given the codename Baron Blood. Baron Blood's wrath was uncontrollable and unstoppable until a costumed hero named Union Jack defeated him with the help of his brother Montgomery. He was severely injured with a silver blade and fled to England. During the Second World War, he offered his services to the emerging Nazi regime in Germany, who experimented on him and made him invulnerable in sunlight. 
Baron Blood was killed by Captain America, but he later resurfaced. He was one of those vampiric characters who died and was revived several times. Draconis Created by Mark Guggenheim and Howard Chaikin, Draconis was introduced in 2006's Blade Volume 4. He was one of the most potent enemies faced by Blade, as this vampire was resistant to most of his weapons. Draconis was a priest, seemingly born of an ancient vampire myth with unfound powers. Draconis tortured himself repeatedly in ways fatal to a vampire, thereby developing an immunity towards them. Thus, he was immune to most of Blade's tactics, like using the crucifix or the holy water. He even staked himself numerous times and developed an immunity from the same. All these made one of the strongest vampires ever to exist. Neither side seemed to be taken down during their confrontation until Blade used his one last trick, which he always refrained from. He bit and drank Draconis's blood and became a gruesome killer. Blade finally killed Draconis by tearing off his head. Blackout Making his first appearance in Ghost Rider Volume 3, Issue 2, published in June 1990, Blackout was a race of demons known as Lilin, spawned by the self-proclaimed mother of demons, Lilith. It was stated that Lilith had mated with other monsters and humans for which the first generation of Lilins was a human-demon hybrid. When Lilith and her children launched their campaign of terror and death against humans, they were unstoppable, before the Atlantean magicians incarcerated her within the belly of a Leviathan. Most of the Lilins were killed off and remained in hiding for thousands of years, waiting for Lilith's return. When Lilith returned, Blackout, along with many of her offspring, began their rampage. Lilith. Although Lilith's origins were not clearly mentioned, she was already stated to be old, even at the dawn of humanity. One of the stories stated that Lilith was a wife to Samael, who later became Satan. With Samael as a failure, Lilith abandoned him and sought to live her own life. When Earth was populated with women who were all passion and men who were lust, Earth God Yahweh crushed the world and picked two souls. The two souls were reborn on a recreated earth where passion was chained and innocence was set free. He created a man known as Adam and a woman named Lilith. Lilith left Adam and went to the devil with whom she conceived many children. However, the devil grew bored and cast her out of hell. Alternately, another story stated that her fathers were Air and Ahriman, suggesting that she might be the cousin of Pazuzu through Air. These contradictions led to the confusion regarding her origin. Even beings as old as Thor and Valkyrie were uncertain of their true origin. Lilith Drake, Daughter of Dracula Created by Marv Wolfman and Jean Cullen, Lilith Drake was the daughter of Zofia and Dracula. As mentioned earlier, Dracula's marriage with Zofia was a compulsion against his will, and hence, when the compulsion was over, he expelled both Zofia and their daughter Lilith. Zofia committed suicide, and Lilith was raised by a Roma woman named Gretchen. Lilith grew up hating her father, who was then a vampire, and slaughtered many innocents in the Roma villages. When Gretchen's son, Army, was also killed by Dracula, she cast a spell to transform Lilith into a vampire, with most vampire weaknesses inhibited. When Lilith confronted her father, Dracula, in London, after she repeatedly killed the humans targeted by her father, Dracula impaled her on a spike as retaliation. Lilith survived and later chose her path, killing criminals mainly and feeding on them. Lilith made her first appearance in Giant Size Chillers, featuring Curse of Dracula issue 1, published in March 1974. Zarus Showcased in Death of Dracula, issue 1, published in June 2010, Zarus was the son of Dracula. He was extremely infuriated about how the humans encroached into the vampire territory and disappointed with his father's leadership. Zarus soon began forming a secret alliance with the different sects of the vampires. The Claw Sect, Charniputra Sect, Mysticos Sect, Nosferatu Sect, Atlantean Sect, Moksha sect and the Siren sect joined hands with Zarus to overthrow his father Dracula from the throne. During a centennial meeting of all the vampires, Zarus, with the help of his allies, drew a stake through Dracula and cut his head off. However, Zarus did not declare his alliance with a claw sect composed of warriors so that traitors would contact them, believing them to be against Zarus. This happened when his brother Janus and the peaceful Anchorite sect contacted the claw sect to join hands against Zarus. However, Zarus was betrayed by the Siren sect, who transferred one of the light-deflecting pendants to Janus, using which he managed to escape from the Claw sect. 
Zarus later sought to move towards world domination and he first wanted to convert all mutants of San Francisco into vampires. This led him to confront the X-Men and Zarus was sure of his victory before the X-Men resurrected Dracula. Dracula killed Zarus by ripping his head off his body. However, he was later resurrected and he aided his father Dracula in forming a new vampire kingdom. He later adopted the identity of the vampire who intended to challenge Dracula for the throne named Shadow Colonel. During this time, he faced the Avengers who had Blade join their ranks. In the fight, Blade wounded Zarus and severed his arms before decapitating him. He later resurrected and continued inflicting his wrath unless subdued. Varney Varney was a human sorcerer serving the Darkholders under Thulsa Doom. He was converted into a vampire by sorcerers of the pre-cataclysmic Atlantis after the actions of King Kull of Velusia left him mortally wounded. He was one of the last vampires of Atlantis and ruled over Earth till 1459. Varney faced several powerful beings such as Conan, Thor, Zula and Red Sonja but soon lost interest in his ages long existence following which he committed suicide by exposing himself to sunlight. Before his death, he chose Dracula as his successor and imparted his gifts by forcing Dracula to drink his blood. Several years later, Marie Laveau, in desperate need of vampire blood, kidnapped Doctor Strange's friend Morgana Blessing and his brother Victor in New Orleans. Doctor Strange was forced to hand over the vampiric verses to her, using which she resurrected Varney from the corpse of Brother Voodoo's servant Bamboo. Varney was stopped and defeated by Doctor Strange. Varney's confrontation with Blade was showcased in Frank Love's Night Stalker Volume 1, Issue 18, released on February 1st, 1994. In the issue, Varney brought Laid to his base island and threatened to resurrect Dracula. Blade, assisted by the Night Stalkers, Varney. They used the exorcist gun against Varney, which had no effect. But when Frank Drake overpowered the gun, it exploded with everyone inside. Lucas Cross Created by Mark Guggenheim and Howard Chaikin, Lucas Cross was introduced in Blade Volume 4, Issue 1, released in September 2006. As mentioned earlier, Lucas Frost was Blade's father, who was framed for a crime in 1920 and imprisoned in Latveria. His wife Tara Brooks, still carrying the unborn Blade, was sent to England. Lucas gave up all hopes of ever meeting his wife and child until his fellow inmate at the prison promised him a way to escape the prison. When Lucas asked what the catch was, the inmate killed him and converted him into a vampire. The two next managed to escape the prison. Several years later, Lucas Cross captured Blade and revealed his true identity to his child. He captured him and forced him to drink the blood of a young virgin. He placed him in restraints, hoping for him to succumb to his vampiric bloodlust after being starved. When Blade was about to succumb to it, he chewed off his own hand and escaped. Legion of the Unliving the Legion of the Unliving was assembled by Dracula to feign an uprising in his vampire kingdom. Dracula's son, Zarus, was resurrected and made to rule the Legion under the identity of Shadow Colonel. Under the disguise, he secretly challenged Dracula's throne and massacred vampires in order to filter all their weak numbers. During the attack of the Legion on Castle Dracula, the Avengers were called upon and the Shadow Colonel turned himself over to them. However, his hidden motive was to use his ally Sarge and possess Ghost Rider. While the Shadow Colonel was imprisoned, Sarge infiltrated the Avengers base and recited a demonic recitation to Ghost Rider. When the Legion of Unliving were on their crusade with the possessed Ghost Rider, the Avengers intercepted them and once again confronted them. The vampires managed to escape, but the heroes managed to free Ghost Rider from Sarge's influence. The Legion arrived in Russia and turned all prisoners of the Sol Iletsk Federal Penal Colony No. 9 into vampires. The Avengers came to stop them with Blade, who managed to kill Zorus and decapitate him. Following this, the Legion escaped with the body of their deceased leader and met with Dracula in Chernobyl, where the Russian government had granted him to build his kingdom. Department of Occult Armaments Appearing for the first time in Night Stalkers issue 2, published in October 1992, the Department of Occult Armaments, or DOA, was a superhuman unit of Hydra, tasked to deal with occult-related situations. It was put together by Baron Wolfgang von Strucker during his leadership and led by General Gregory Belial. The team included Malpractice, Inards, Pyre, Rotwarp and Belial's personal pet raven Edgar. The DOA was tasked to procure vampire DNA to genetically create a perfect vampire stormtrooper. During this, they went to the southeastern United States and dug up the remains of Suze Harlow, one of the women killed by Dracula. 
The experiments resulted in the creation of the new vampire Bloodstorm 1, who slaughtered everyone in the facility. The DOA was later showcased in Fear itself, The Fearless, Volume 1, Issue 1, where they resurfaced and gathered to assist Sin in gathering the serpent's hammers to power the final sleeper. Several years later, Crossbones allied with the DOA while retrieving the Hellmark from Mania. In the battle against the demons, Crossbones and DOA were defeated, after which they vanished. Assad Showcased in Blade 2, Assad was a vampire and one of the members of the elite vampire force, the Blood Pack. Like the rest of the members, he was trained to hunt down Blade. However, their objective was later shifted towards the rise of the Reapers. Assad and the rest were compelled to form an alliance with Blade in order to avert the threat of the Reapers. During their confrontation against the Reapers in a vampire nightclub, Assad was thrown aside. Later, in the second encounter in the sewers beneath Prague, Assad, Blade and Nysa were ambushed by the Reapers, during which Assad was surrounded by the Reapers and taken down. Mephisto Next we have Hell Lord Mephisto, where Hell in Marvel is mentioned as an extra-dimensional realm. He was a devil, whom human beings have given different names. The recognized name was Mephisto, the short form of Mephistopheles. It was the name given to the devil in the Faust legends and the name of a fallen angel. Mephisto's realm consisted of lesser demons serving under him and the astral forms of selected human beings trapped in the bodies of the demons. His main goal was to bring more and more sentient beings into his realm and imprison them. After he's done with Earth, he plans to extend his reach towards extraterrestrial beings. In the Heroes Reborn story arc, Blade was showcased as the only Avenger who remembered the world the way it was, and then it was ruled by Mephisto and Squadron Supreme. In this reality, there were no Avengers. Carol Danvers, Jennifer Walters and Robbie Reyes never gained powers, while Tony Stark never gave up his life as a weapons dealer. Some of the heroes even turned into villains. However, Blade managed to assemble the fallen heroes and formed the Avengers. After a long, intense battle, they managed to defeat Mephisto and the Squadron Supreme. Varkis The vampire cult Creed earnestly believed that their messiah would be a mutant turned vampire. They set out to infect mutants and succeeded in creating a vampire clone of Wolverine named Varkis. Varkis had both the powers and abilities of Wolverine and a vampire, was an immensely strong being. This iteration of Wolverine was created by Mark Guggenheim and Dave Wilkins and showcased in 2019's Wolverine vs. Blade Special Issue 1. Varkis was killed by the combined efforts of Wolverine and Blade. Vampire X Created by Mark Miller and Steve Dillon, the man who became Vampire X was originally a man named Anthony. He was a legend known as the most excellent vampire hunter who ever existed. Anthony slayed hundreds of vampires and was also the trainer of Matt Murdock and Eric Brooks. However, in Ultimate Avengers issue 16, he was bit and converted into a vampire. After becoming a vampire with such skills, he chose to become the leader of the group. Vampire X eventually became the king of vampires and began his plans to have vampires rule over humankind. He stole Iron Man's suit, Mark I, to protect him from the sunlight during the day and began attacking any superhero they could find. When Blade intervened, Vampire X asked him to stay out of it, but the latter denied it. He met his demise after he converted Nerd Hulk into a vampire who killed him easily. Eli Damaskinos Appearing in Blade 2, Eli Damaskinos was a centuries-old pure-blood vampire and the vampire nation overlord. He had a daughter named Nysa and a son named Jared Nomak. As mentioned earlier, Damaskinos the creator of the Reapers. Throughout his life, he always sought ways to change the evolutionary line of vampires, making them invulnerable to conventional vampire weaknesses. He created a virus and tested it on his son. This led to the creation of the Reapers, with Jared being the patient zero. Soon, hundreds of vampires got infected with the virus and turned into Reapers. When the chaos reached out of control, Damaskinos was compelled to seek help from vampire hunter Blade, with whom he entrusted his vampire combat troop known as the Blood Pack. When Nomak arrived to exact revenge on him for transforming him into a hideous creature, Damaskinos tried bargaining for mercy, but Nomak ripped a portion of his throat out with fangs and killed him. He transformed into a petrified alabaster shell. Luxius Crown Created by Howard Mackey and John Romita Jr., Luxius Crown was introduced in Spider-Man issue 76, released in November 1996. 
He was an agent of Hydra who killed scientist William Fields at Empire State University and took hold of his specialized armor capable of manipulating Dark Force. Seven years later, he returned to Empire State University with a group of masked goons and took a room full of scientists hostage. He demanded to get the generator and Dr. Fields' notes and threatened to kill every one of them if not handed over to him. Fortunately, Spider-Man and Shock arrived on time and incapacitated Crown's goons, allowing the hostages to escape. However, the generator was about to explode and when it did, Crown was in the vicinity of the explosion, which bathed him in the massive energy levels. This gave the Crown phenomenal powers. Crown next abducted Morbius to conduct experiments on him along with Dr. Andrea Jansen for Don Fortunato. However, when Hammerhead killed his love, he went against Hydra and attempted to destroy their ship. When Spider-Man and Shock tried stopping, he planned on overloading his armor to explode before Morbius attacked and drained all his blood. Crown soon transformed into a living vampire and took the alias Hunger. Hunger lived in the sewers of New York City as an enforcer of Senator Stuart Ward. He feasted on innocent civilians whom he abducted and later converted several thugs and goons into vampires to serve under him. Hunger was finally defeated by the combined efforts of Blade and Spider-Man after they tracked him down to an abandoned Roxxon plant. His followers were dead and he was compelled to escape. Trenton Crafts Trenton Kraft was a soldier during World War II who was chosen to be a part of a super soldier program following the one that spawned Captain America. However, the program enhanced his mental abilities instead of his physical abilities. Calling himself Colonel America, Trenton was first deployed to the city of Yokohama in Japan. However, his powers got out of hand and he ended up massacring thousands and decimating the planet. Stacy Dolan seemingly killed him, but his powers allowed him to recover and he walked away after the autopsy. Knowing Vanguard's secrecy was compromised, Trenton planned on killing everyone who tried to keep the operation a secret. Trenton later captured and tortured Blade to locate the rest. However, not much of Trenton was shown after this. Atrocity Created by Howard Mackey, Atrocity was introduced in Ghost Rider Ablaze, Spirits of Vengeance, issue 17, released in December 1993. He was a member of an ancient group dedicated to fighting Zarathos's evil called Blood. Atrocity eventually turned his back on the Blood, sided with Zarathos, and eventually became the Fallen. Atrocity lived for over 20,000 years and was killed by Blade using a magical sword called Justicia in the South American Temple of Foundry. It was stated that at some point Atrocity had fallen in love with Zok, a South American woman, which ended badly, much to his regret. Aldous Yancey Aldous Yancey was a fisherman transformed into a vampire. Introduced in Dawn McGregor's Blade, Volume 2, Issue 1, released in September 1998, Aldous worked with his fellow vampire, Worm Digger, to capture civilians and feed on them. The vampire duo convinced or hypnotized innocent civilians and brought them to an abandoned riverboat, where they killed and consumed them. The same was about to happen to a young woman before Blade arrived and broke Aldous's teeth. Aldous transformed into a bat and fought Blade until the latter staked Aldous to the wall of a ship. He was pinned there until morning and when the sun rose, Aldous perished. Shikla Shikla was from the monster world that existed way before humankind. Her family ruled over it until the vampires waged war against them in hopes of ruling their world. The battle continued for centuries until Shikla's family was subdued. Her father was traumatized after losing his sons Amjad and Bakir. Thus, in order to save her daughter, he sealed her in a sarcophagus until the war was over. Years later, Dracula intends to find Shikla to make a truce between the monsters and the vampires and rule the monster world. He hired Deadpool to find the sarcophagus. Deadpool found a sarcophagus and when he carried it to Greece, he came to a fight with a minotaur, which eventually ended in waking Shikla and her pet dragon, Bub. Blade intercepted the happening and arrived at the scene. He had previously specified Deadpool to not go after Shikla and also that she was a monster. As Deadpool and Blade got into a fight, Shikla intervened and helped Deadpool take down Blade. At some point, Deadpool and Shikla got married, but Shikla began growing hateful towards humanity. The final blow was when one of her subjects from the monster world, Farkas, was killed by bystanders when it wandered off Monster Metropolis. When things got out of hand, Deadpool sought help from Dracula, who stopped her but also proposed to her. They eventually got married. 
Trinity Cabranes, making her first appearance in Blade the Vampire Hunter Volume 1 Issue 4 published in October 1994, Trinity Cabranes was a prostitute and thief before becoming a thrall. It all began after Stepan Razor and Marie Levu came into her life. They offered her dignity and empowerment in exchange for her blood, which would be given to the vampires. She agreed and began working for the vampires as a thrall. She had an encounter with Blade after the thralls ambushed Blade and Bible John. Bible John was subdued by Trinity while the rest of the thralls attacked Blade. However, when she threatened to cut open John's throat, Blade was compelled to surrender and the two were brought to La Vue. It was all for the ceremony conducted by La Vue to resurrect Varney. Blade and John were both concerned about Trinity, but it was all futile as she was too stubborn to believe that the vampires were using her. Finally, when Bible tried convincing her, she grew disgusted and sliced his throat using Blade's katana. Meanwhile, the ceremony was successful and Varney Varney's spirit could be seen floating in a mystical portal. Varney took over Night Terror's body. His first victim was Trinity. Rokis. Rokis was a trichus, a subspecies of vampires that fed on other vampires. He was deep in love with the ruler of the Raukis, Queen Scylla, who also responded back with love. However, she could not marry him as a prophecy foretold that the child of a trike and a daywalker would become Zukaya, the ruler of the world. She took the form of a human and allied herself with Susan Vandermeer. Her target was Blade, whom she wanted to mate with. She made sure to protect Blade from danger in several situations. Raukis, much to dislike, obeyed her orders, and together they managed to get Blade to mate with her. Later, revealing to Blade how she had been tricked by Scylla and Raukis, the duo fought him and managed to escape. Raukis later returned to kill Blade, who sliced his sword through him, splitting him up into two. Jarko Grimwood Jarko Grimwood was one of the vampires shown in the live-action Blade movies. Portrayed by Triple H, the character was introduced in 2004's Blade Trinity as a vampire and henchman of Danica Talos and Asha Talos. Jarko died after the release of the man-made virus named Daystar, which was made to eradicate vampires. Dieter Reinhardt Introduced in 2002's Blade 2, Dieter Reinhardt was a member of the elite vampire force, the Blood Pack. Born in the 18th century, he was the son of Dracula, while his mother's name was never revealed. Dracula slayed the woman but transformed Dieter into a vampire. Although the Blood Pack was originally created to hunt and kill Blade, they were forced to work with him to stop the Reapers. However, Dieter was goaded to get into a conflict and fixed a bomb on his head to keep him in control. He was there when the Blood Pack led by Blade attacked the Reapers at the House of Pain, a vampire nightclub. During the battle, Dieter managed to kill one of the Reapers with the use of ultraviolet light. In the next fight with the Reapers in the sewers under Prague, Dieter and Chupa planned to attack Blade's ally Abraham Whistler. However, he turned his back when Chup completed the assault and was soon overwhelmed by swarming hordes of Reapers. He tried detonating the sewers with an ultraviolet bomb, but after finding it jammed, he fled to Blade's location. Blade detonated the bomb, which not only killed the Reapers, but also left Dieter's face severely scarred. Later, he captured Blade and Whistler, who were still alive. He also managed to remove the bomb from his head, but when he attacked Blade, he was sliced in half by the vampire hunter. Mercury Mercury was the supporting antagonist in the 1998's live-action film Blade. She was a member of Deacon Frost's gang and his lover. She was often found in vampire nightclubs, dancing and enjoying pain from her victims. Once at the nightclub, when Blade attacked the vampires, Raquel and Mercury separated and Raquel faced her demise at the hands of Blade. Blade also shot Mercury, but she barely managed to escape. Mercury and Frost swore revenge against Blade and captured Karen. Blade arrived and the fight began between him and and Deacon Frost's gang. Karen shot silver bullets at Mercury, which was futile as she was fast enough to dodge. As Mercury tried to kill Karen, the latter sprayed garlic mace on Mercury, which made her head explode. Danica Talos Centuries ago, a Catholic girl, Danica Talos, who lived with her brother Asher, was attacked by an unknown vampire. Following this event, she transformed into a vampire, not just with powers, but also with brains. She succumbed to the dark side and teamed up with her vampire brother and muscle-bound Jarko Grimwood. The three eventually formed an association with other vampires. Danica's policies brought benefits to the vampires, and hence, she was highly respected, despite not being pure blood. Her skill set included manipulating 
situation, using which she used human politicians, lawyers, etc. to her advantage. At some point, Danica shows a close relationship with Dracula. She once used her powers to frame Blade for a serial murder of a dozen humans. The main purpose was to catch him, as Dracula was eager to fight him. After Blade was caught, Danica and her brother and other vampires confronted him in the interrogation room. Blade was sedated and taunted by Danica before Hannibal King arrived and attacked them, following which Blade managed to escape. They captured Hannibal King and kidnapped Zoe Summerfield. Danica enjoyed torturing them, but her fun was interrupted by Blade and Abigail, who arrived with the Daystar virus. The virus was released, which eventually eradicated all the vampires present. Asher Talos. As mentioned earlier, Danica had a brother who was also transformed into a vampire. His name was Asher. He assisted his sister during the expedition to find Dracula in the Syrian desert. Taking Dracula to America, Asher and his sister wanted to use his blood to enhance the vampire genome and be able to kill Blade. However, their plans failed and Asher was shot to death by Abigail Whistler. Raquel. As mentioned earlier, Raquel was Mercury's friend and the two were mostly seen at the vampire nightclub, luring their victims and feasting on them. She was introduced in 1998's Blade, where she was with her new victim. However, her fun is ruined when Blade arrived and she gets detached from Mercury in the chaos. When she spotted Blade killing other vampires, she lost control of her rage and pursued Blade, stating that she would rip his head apart. However, she was blasted by Blade's shotgun and eradicated. Salome. Created by Robert E. Howard, Roy Thomas, and John Buscema, Salome was introduced in Savage Sword of Conan, issue number 5, released in February 1975. Salome was the daughter of Taramis, the princess of Kauram, and the descendant of a millennia-old sorceress of the same name. She bore the mark of a witch, for she was left in the desert to die, but fortunately, a magician from Kitai found her and raised her. Years later, when she returned to her home in Kauran, she discovered a sister, Ruth. It. She tried usurping her throne but was defeated by an uprising led by the former captain of the guards Conan. Ragnar. Ragnar was a dwarf of Nidavellir who eventually inclined towards a dark path. Created by writer Victor Gishler and artist David Baldion, the character was introduced in Spirits of Vengeance issue 2, published in November 2017. On Earth, he established himself in the Popo Catapital Volcano in Mexico as he required the hottest fires for his forge, and he had a liking for volcanoes. In issue 4 of the same comic series, Ragnar was approached by the Lieutenant of Nectrodamus, Razan, to kill Michael during the diplomatic summit between heaven and hell. Ragnar needed the Judas Silver, which was then in possession of Johnny Blaze, Damon Hellstrom, and Blade. Nectrodamus brought the 30th piece of silver to Ragnar to complete the making of the Archangel Killer. Later, when Johnny Blaze, Blade, Damon, and Satana Hellstrom arrived to extract information from Ragnar, he quickly understood their motives and attacked them. However, he was defeated and compelled to give them their requisite information information. Post-Mortem Introduced in Blade, the Vampire Hunter, issue 10, released in February 1995, Post-Mortem was an enemy of Blade who worked for Dracula. He was a scientist and was given a secret lab on the 13th floor of the Chrysler building to work for Dracula. He had created nanites that could re-engineer the genetic structure from within the bloodstream to convert their host into vampires. At some point, Post-Mortem transformed himself into a cyborg to gain immortality. His confrontation with Blade happened when the latter discovered his lab and entered to find it filled with corpses. Postmortem initially thought Blade was sent by Dracula to shut down his project and attacked him with a laser scalpel on his right arm. Blade warned Postmortem, but he ignored and died when Blade plugged the laser cannon with his dagger and made it explode. Verlan. Showcased in Blood 2, Verlan was a pure blood vampire and member of the Blood Pack. As mentioned earlier, the Blood Pack, which was initially formed with the sole purpose of killing Blade, changed its priorities after the Reapers wreaked havoc over the entire vampire community and even infected them. When the Blood Pack, led by Blade, faced the Reapers in the vampire nightclub House of Pain, Verlan's love, Lighthammer, was bitten by a Reaper, which he ignored. After daybreak, when Blood Pack followed the Reapers to the sewers to launch their attack, Attack, Lighthammer succumbed to the infection and transformed into a Reaper. Lighthammer killed Snowman and attacked Verlaine, who climbed up to the surface, sacrificing both herself and Lighthammer. Hey. 
Marvelous verdict. So we have finally come to the end of the video and we hope you have liked our content. With a long and exhaustive list, Blade certainly qualifies as one of the individuals with the most number of enemies and needless to say that he will always be a big worry for the vampires. Thank you for watching the video till the end and stay tuned for the next Marvelous video. And if you liked our content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one and be safe. Thanks everyone.